In this video, I'll demonstrate how to set up the JEdit text editor with the console plugin. This plugin gives you access to the command line from within JEdit, allowing you to compile and run Java programs without leaving the editor. First thing to do if you haven't done it already is, of course, to install JEdit. You can download JEdit from www.jedit.org. And the download link is in the upper right hand corner of the page here. All you have to do is download the appropriate installer for your OS and go through the installation process. Just run it and go through the installation. It's fairly straightforward, so I won't go through it here. If you don't have JEdit installed already, go ahead and pause the video now and do it. For this video, I'm going to be using version 4.3 pre-14 of JEdit. That's the latest version as of this recording. I'm just going to start up JEdit by double clicking on the icon on the desktop. The first time JEdit starts up, the help menu or the help window will pop up. I'm just going to close that. And this is the basic JEdit text editor. In its default configuration, it's fairly simple. There's not a whole lot of extras installed. I like to install the console plugin, as that gives me access to the command line directly within the editor. So the first thing I'm going to do is install that plugin. To do that, I go to the plugins menu and choose plugin manager. I can also click on this little icon here that looks like a puzzle piece. And that opens up the plugin manager. I'll click on the install tab. And I should get a long list of different plugins that I can choose from. I'll find the console plugin in here and check that one. And then just click on install. It should automatically download and install the plugin for you. You can click on the manage tab up here and verify that it's installed. You can see it in the list here. Okay, so now that I've got it installed, I can uh, go ahead and start using it. There's a couple ways I could use it. One is I could just bring up a window that has the console, and I can do that by going to the plugins menu, choosing console. That brings up the console in a separate window. So I could move that down here and use it alongside of my editor. I personally like to have the console docked within the JEdit editor itself, rather than having it as a separate window. So to do that, I'm just going to go ahead and close that. To do that, I'm just going to dock it. It's called docking within uh, the JEdit editor. So to do that, I'll go to the global options screen. I can, I can do that by either clicking on this icon here or I can go to the utilities menu and choose global options. In here I'll click on docking and here I can choose which, which plugin I'd like docked into which area. So I'll choose under the console plugin I'll choose to dock it on the bottom and I also like to dock the file browser on the right. So I'll choose those two and click OK. Okay, That actually docks them into the JEdit text editor area but they're not visible until I expand them by clicking on either the file browser button here on the right or the console button here on the bottom. So I'll just click on the console button now it didn't expand because there's not quite enough room in the window right now, so I'll expand the window a little bit. There we go. So the console now appears down here in the bottom of the window. I can also expand the file browser. Again, I think my window's too small, so I'll make it a little bigger. 
There we go. So this gives me access to both the files in my file system and a command line prompt down the bottom. The file system browser works similar to Windows Explorer. I can move around and look at the contents of different directories on my operating on my uh, computer. And the console acts just like the Windows command line does. So as an example, I'll just run a simple hello world program. I can click on the home direct or the home icon here to take me to my home directory and I've already created a file called hello.java here. To open it up into the editor I can just double click on it in the browser here. And that opens it up in the middle. So to execute it all I have to do is navigate my console to the same directory and then issue the appropriate commands to compile and run. I can use the cd command just like you would in the Windows console. cd space dot dot will take me up one directory. Or I can type a full path to get me to where I want to go. In this case I want to go to my home directory which is documents and settings slash dwolf. Now that didn't work because I've got spaces in my path so I'll fix that by just adding quotation marks. Okay, now I'm in the same directory as my hello.java file. So I can compile it using a Java C command. that seemed to work correctly, I can actually verify that the .class file was created if I go over to my file system browser here on the right and click on this, uh, this refresh button. And you can see here that the hello.class file is now in that same directory. I could also do it just by typing dir into the console, which will give me a full listing of the files in that directory. And then I'll just run the program using the java command, java hello and there's the output from my program. So that's basically it. JEdit is set up for using the console plugin and the file system browser. There are a couple other tweaks that I like to make I thought I'd show you just before I finish. One is I like to have the console extend all the way across the window rather than stopping here. And I can change that again by going to Global Options, clicking on View, and choosing Alternate Docked Windows Placement. That will make the, the items that are docked in the bottom extend all the way across the window, and the items that are docked on the side to extend only uh, in between the items that are docked in the top and the bottom. I also like to have line numbers appear in my document or in the gutter next to my document. So I can do that by clicking on gutter and clicking on the line numbering checkbox here. So when I click OK now I have line numbers here on the left in my um, in my document in the gutter next to my document and now the console plugin is extended all the way across the bottom. This is the environment that I like to work in. Feel fr you can, of course, feel free to customize it however you like. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.